This is Lee with 82 Game and 12. And uh, this is Musket and Pike from GMT. And we're focusing on first, uh, let's see, the let's see the 30 Years War, Sweden Fights On. And this is going to be video six of this uh, playthrough of Second Brightonfield. So that's what we've got going on. Shows you where we're at, turn two. And um, we've got uh, four to see five units uh, pursuing, and quite a few units that have been uh, eliminated. So, uh, before we jump in and get started, let's uh, mention our two sponsors. We've got uh, Okie Dokie Dice, and uh, like I've said this is the dice that we're using in this simulation and they roll very smoothly uh, feel great in your hand quality die um, you can find out more information about okie dokie dice at okie dokie dice.com i've got the uh, youtube link uh in the uh, description and then we have up uh, up yeah ultra pro matte deck protector sleeves and uh, in this pack you get 50 uh, matte deck protector sleeves uh, paid $2.99 at a comic book store uh, great for tournament play they shuffle smoothly and uh, they're great for gaming cards so you can check them out in the description also with a link YouTube link so you can find them at ultrapro.com uh, and a lot of other locations, Twitter, Instagram, and so forth. So there that is. And uh, here we go. We're going to get right into it. Uh, when I stopped, I kind of cut the video a little, a little short there. We had just finished um, with uh, Piccolomini's activation over here with the uh, guard uh, Imperial Guard units um, attacking uh, here and uh, they were able to actually uh, do some do some damage there uh, and he actually uh, he's got a charge marker um, and so it, it moves over to the uh, Swedish activation now and they've got two um left to activate their left uh wing which was calvary uh is not going to be able to activate their leader was uh incapacitated and so uh they don't have a leader until uh next turn so we've got the uh main body here the center line uh made up of the heavy infantry and then we, and artillery and then we have the um, reserve under Gustav. Um, well, actually, it's under, let's see, Lille, Lille. I think he's actually the one that has it to start with. I'll have to look that up, but I'm pretty sure he does. And the Montenay uh, is actually under uh, Lille, Lille Hawk. Oops. Right here. So, um, let's see where did I have him at? I think I had him out there. All right, so I think uh, we're going to have a preemption. Um, So, I think we're going to try um, to do a preemption with um, 
the Imperial Wright Calvary over here. Uh, not that it really matters. Uh, I might change that because it's not really going to matter. Um, because that that side over there is done for. So I don't want to risk... You know, with a preemption, he's not able to continue. So, and being, uh, he's not charged, um, he's make ready, so his preemption is zero to three. Even though he's got, let's see, he's got a rating of zero, though. Um, he's a cavalry wing, so that's a minus one. But still, what what purpose does it serve for him to go ahead and go when his uh, opponent on that side is already gone um, and is finished? So... I don't think I'm going to do that. That wouldn't, I don't think that'd be a very smart move and the chance that you're going to lose a possibly a continuation. So I could try to uh, do a preemption here, but again, um, you have the risk of, of, uh, of running uh, where you don't get uh, continuation. So, um, Uh, let's see here. Don't have a lot of options here um, besides just attacking straight on, but I'm not going to be able to fire. Could have a stalemate here. Neither side wishing to uh, move into range. If I move one hex, then during his activation, he can advance fire on me. But um, an artillery uh, is uh, poorly placed. Both sides did the same thing. They didn't leave gaps for the artillery to be uh, placed. Um, so they would actually have to move um, to allow that to happen. Um, Especially these two here. Um, those are big. Well, all of them are big, are big guns. So.
and they would have opportunity fire. So I think I might hold off with him and activate him. Oh, I can't. He's make ready. So I can't with him. I've got to use the charge. And he's got to move. Unless he changes his order, he's got to move. I don't have a choice. Okay, so we're move one hex. I think maybe we might be able to clear out. So he goes to there. This guy goes to there. Now that clears a path for him. And over here, these guys go here. Um, this guy goes there. And then this guy here, he's gonna block somebody. So he goes here. This gotta be fire here, this gotta be fire there. I'd be weakening this side. This guy, hmm, I don't think he has, he can't fire here. This guy's blocking his path. Don't think. Well, he might be able to. I have to look at it. Um, that or I could move here. If I move here, then I'm going to hit here and I'm going to hit here. So I got a chance to knock out the middle and then advance. Okay, that's where we're going to go. This guy's going to go here. That guy's going to advance there. These guys are going to advance here. And that's where we stop. Now we're hoping for continuation. Okay. All right, so now we're looking at continuation. All right, he's going to try a continuation. Okay, so <clears throat> he's in charge Conti to continue. He's not a cavalry wing. And the leadership rating is not going to be Montané. It's just Lalahook. So basically, they're just going to have to roll a three. Okay. They rolled a five, so he's finished. Now, I didn't do my uh, overall commander who's over here. I keep forgetting that. So he's here, and he's already... He's already fixed these guys. Um, I think he's going to go to this guy. Yeah. He's going to move up here. This is where he's at now. 
All right. So now we go to uh, the only uh, charge uh, that's left, which is going to be the Imperial Center. Okay. And uh, I guess what they're going to do. They've got charts, so they've got to they've got to move. Um, I wonder. I guess if they can't move. Uh, what I'm looking at here is this. See, this unit here has got this cavalry unit in front of him, so he can't he can't move. Um, but they're required to move. Um, yeah, right here it says. Unit must attempt to end its activation at least one X closer to the closest engaged enemy unit. Unengaged. However, it is engaged. It has this unit here on its flank. So I guess it could it would just stay there. It can't move. I guess. Let's see what kind of movement it can do. I don't think it can move. Uh, They can't move back. They've got to move forward. So, I guess they're going to move. They're going to, this whole front line is going to advance fire. And uh, we've got a couple here that are formation shaken. But they're going to advance fire. So, I guess I'll start over here. Um, this will be the unit going. And we actually have fire coming from this one. Um, let me look to see. Uh, I'll deal with that uh, that other uh, flank there. Let's see if the advanced fire fires before the uh, opportunity fire. Let's see. Let's see what it says. <clears throat> it says a cavalry unit may, a cavalry unit may not react until after the fire has been resolved. Well, what about What about re opportunity fire? Let me check it. This is how you learn to uh, to play. Or this reaction fire.
Well, I guess they're moving. Since they're moving in there, then they can fire before the uh, they can they can uh, do their firing. So the re reaction fire is going to happen first. Um, so, um, <clears throat> all right. So he moves to here. Okay. And uh, so we've got both of these can fire, and this unit here can fire this one half. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> okay, and they can't solve solve fire, solve. So, <clears throat> we're going to softle fire against that uh, unit moving in there. So, I'm going to actually be firing twice, one for each half, this half, this half. Oh, I got a nine. Okay, so that's going to be two hits. Okay, now the other side, the other side of that 2x. Now, wait a minute. <clears throat> okay. Heavy infantry reaction fire. Okay. So that was above a five in this. The optional rule here uh, with the heavy infantry. I'm using that. So if you roll five or more, then they can't reaction fire any more more that activation. But the other other half can still fire. And I rolled an eight. So that's two more. So now we're at four. Okay. And now we have, so they saw salvo fired, but then they're done. They can't, they can't fire anymore. Uh, I don't know what you would use here. I don't know if you could, um, there's a marker for that. Maybe you'd put a no pistols on there or something. Just to show that they show that they can't fire again. I don't know. Okay, now the other half here is formation shaken. So now he's fired. Okay, so he's gonna have a minus two to his die roll, but he's also shooting salvo. Rolled a five, becomes a three. 
that's a hit. So now we're sitting at five. So five hits. Okay, so I'll put a salvo marker on him. And he rolled a five or higher, so um, that side is, is going to be, I'll just put first pistol shot. I don't know how else to do it. I probably, they probably have a marker. I just don't know what it is. It's not that. Disabled. I don't know what it is. Hmm. Okay. All right. So, um, next we've got, um, oh, I got to look to see here. Okay, so his original morale was seven. Original strength was 10. So that unit has reached ca casualty threshold. But he also, let's see, where's it at? on here somewhere. I guess not. The morale um, information. I wish they would have put that on the... Uh... So he's got to check morale. Okay. Okay, so he's got to check morale for the salvo, but he's going to have a minus. Let it be. I guess it'd be a minus five. It casually hits. Okay, so he's got five casually hits this, this turn. <clears throat> so he's gonna lose one morale level. So he's now down to six. So it's not going to be, it's going to add. So you're going to add five to the die roll. So he's, he's going to be, I guess he could go morale shaken. So, because he's going to fail. So he goes to morale shaken. All right. And now he would fire. Both sides would fire. Um. Now he's firing, and he's he's firing at these two. This one side's firing here, one side's firing here. So he can fire salvo. Okay, he's formation shaken. That's minus two. Advancing fire, minus three, so that's minus five. Uh, 
every two casualty points is a minus one, so that's another minus two. So now we're at minus seven. The most he can get is like a three. Well, he rolled a zero. Well, be a two. Um, he rolled a zero, so that is a miss. So he missed with the first one. The second one. Six is still going to be a zero. But we put a salvo card on him anyways. Salvo. Salvo. If I can find one. This guy moves to here. Okay, now this side is not going to be able to fire. This side will be. And then this guy can fire right there. So this is the... I'm going to fire with that guy first. So he's firing Salvo. And he's formation shaken. So he's going to have a minus two. Seven... Um, so seven, is five, he's gonna, he's gonna give that unit a hit. So they take a hit. Okay, and he rolled a seven, so that means they're done reacting. Okay, now this side here gets to fire at this, and he's just straight up. We got a one, that's a miss. So he's of course firing his salvo. Salvo, I have to pull some more of those out somewhere. One. Okay, now this guy has two fires. So he's going to fire both of them on this guy. So boom, boom. All right, so he's going to have minus three for uh, advancing fire. Doesn't have enough casualties. Okay, but he has to roll because of salvo, salvo fire. He's got to roll against his morale. Um, plus, he took one hit. So, he's going to have a morale roll plus one. Nine, ten. So, he's going to be uh, shaken. Morale shaken. Okay. Um, he's not formation shaken. All right, so he's going to have a minus three. Rolled an eight. Of course, he's firing Salvo. And they're, of course, going to be, well, they can't react either. I'll go ahead and put it on there. Um, so he's firing Salvo. And subtract three, got that become a five. So he gives, gets a hit on these guys. And then he fires the other half. Four becomes a one. That's a miss. So now this side has to has to uh, roll against their morale. Got a six. They're safe. Okay. 
No, they were for, wait a minute, six. Um, and uh, if they're formation shaken, let's see what that does. I guess it doesn't do anything. Just because they're formation shaken. Guess it doesn't affect them. Let's see. Okay. So it didn't affect their morale. Okay, so he passed. Okay. Um, okay. So now we can move on here with this guy. This guy moves. I don't know, these guys had art, uh, regimental artillery. Should have been using regimental artillery. Shoot. That guy didn't, but this guy did. Okay, over here. He is formation shaken. Um, so both of these can fire. So I didn't have any pistols on him. So that's both sides who can fire. All right. Two is a miss. Uh, zero is a miss. So, okay. So, he's okay. Um, this guy here is firing now at this guy. Um, he's formation shaken. That's going to be minus two. He's advancing fire. That's going to be minus three. So, that's a total of minus five. And he's firing heavy infantry with regimental artillery. One, that's going to be a miss. And saw, though. Oh, double miss. Yeah, I'm going to have to get some more markers. Oh, there's one. I'm going to have to get some more markers out. All right. Okay, then we have this guy move to here. Both of these guys get to fire. Well, these guys had regimental artillery too. Shoot, what was I doing? Should have had formation hits and all kinds of stuff going on. Especially with that one guy on the end. Because I rolled that nine, two hits, a formation hit, and a morale check. So, you know, we can change that right here. So he's gonna be formation broken. Casualty threshold. 
I just have to do it this way, like this. This guy here, I think he'd be all right. All right, so we go over here. All right, so I should be rolling on the heavy infantry with regimental artillery, Salvo, Salvo. Okay, he's formation shaken, so that's gonna be minus two. Okay, and he's firing a Salvo with his regimental artillery. Zero, that becomes a miss. This other half, three, comes a one, that's a miss. So, okay, this guy advancing fire, let's fire both of those at this guy. So he's going to have minus three. Zero, that's a miss. One is a miss. This guy. This unit here could intercept. Let me look at that. He goes there, there, he's going to get possibly intercepted by this unit. So if he just goes head on right there, so he moves there, then this guy's going to intercept or try to. Um, but I think before he can do that, uh, the infantry unit gets to fire. So, let me look. Yeah, it says the cover unit may not react until after the fire has been resolved. So, okay. So first off, this unit here is gonna fire Salvo plus the regimental artillery into that unit. So, seven. Uh, so that's going to be two hits, formation hit, and a route check. But that would be 
a morale check anyway because he's losing two casualties. So, loses two casualties. Formation hit, and he has to check morale. So, and he gets a plus one to that roll. Roll to five, becomes a six, he's okay. All right, so now we have the other side of the unit fires. I should have just waited. Okay, so that's two hits and another formation hit. But he's already, oh no, he's going to be formation broken. Uh, and that would mean he would get another, he would get another plus one. What did I have yet? I think, I think he still passes because I rolled a five, six, seven. What's he at? Yeah, so he still passes. Um, well, yeah, but he, I don't think he's reached. Yeah, he hasn't reached, uh, casually yet. Um, so he passes. He's just formation broken. And he's regimental artillery. So, but he's lost... Four. Okay, so he's going to be lots of different things here. Um, formation broken, minus three. Minus three for advancing fire, that's minus six. And then minus, let's see, minus one for every two casualty points. So, so he's going to be at minus eight. So that's going to be a miss and then another miss okay and so he fired salvo I just have to pull some more there's no there's one And now this cavalry unit right here. Okay. He's got to check for interception. So, um, Stolhansky, Stolhanska is going to make the attack. He doesn't have any pistols. And he's formation shaken. <coughs> so... He's in charge. He's got a morale of eight. So minus one. You've got no leader. Yep. He can attack. Okay. So. This guy is formation broken. <clears throat> Not bad. Um, let's see here. Let me move this here. Um, so he's he's like that. Um, so he's only got a strength of six, but you're supposed to half that. Um.
So we got Cursor versus Heavy Infantry. That's going to be a minus one. <clears throat> Um, let me look here on the combat because I'm I know on the combat And I don't see it. I thought there was something here about cavalry attack and infantry. Oh, let's see right here. Strength ratio. Okay, here it is. Cavalry versus heavy infantry. If cavalry is attacking heavy infantry, use only half the infantry strength for the strength ratio calculation. So, I'll just show you where it's at here. Right there. 11.3.5. Okay. So, all right. There's no uh, leaders. Uh, morale differential, we've got uh, eight against uh, seven. So that's uh, that's going to be plus, plus one. Okay. Um, strength ratio, it's going to be one to two because he's at four. No, actually, let's see. He's at six, use half of six, that's three, so it's one to one. Uh, he didn't have any pistol shots. It's not in the rear flank. Okay, he's morale shaken, so that's a uh, minus one. So we're at zero. Defender is formation broken, so that's going to be plus two. So, plus, it's plus two. Ah, uh, one, ah, uh, plus two is three, so the attacker is going to be shaken and has to retreat two hexes. Shaken. Retreat to hexes. And he goes to formation broken. Um, 
What's it say about the defender? Well, he can't advance because it's, it's right there. So. All right. All right, so here, we got this guy right here. So this guy is going to go, he's going to leave the artillery there, but he's going to go one, two, to go to there, three. Uh, that guy can't move. Then he's going to go four, right there. All right. One. This guy goes to one. This guy goes one. One. All right, so there we are. Um, this guy can fire here. I didn't fire with him. He can fire, I think, out of that flank. Let's see here. Maybe he can't. Okay, skirmishing fire. Yeah. Well, I don't know. That's uh, where's he at? No, see, he's not in his frontal hexes. I think he has to fire in his frontal hexes. Says infantry and cavalry fire into their front and flank hexes. Each hex of a two hex unit can only fire into hexes adjacent to itself. Okay, so they can still fire. Is there like a maybe a penalty for firing? Maybe. Let's see. Maybe not. No, I guess not. So he could do a uh, salvo and I'm talking about this unit right here against this unit right there. That unit there is a Swedish cavalry unit. He doesn't have any, he can't move. So, yeah, fire your salvo. But there ought to be like, um, maybe you can't fire, salvo can't be fired. Um, 
foot into the front hex. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, only into the frontal hexes. Okay, he can't fire a salvo. Okay. All right. Um, so, he's got regimental artillery, though. So that's coming out of the flank. Okay. Zero is a miss. So he missed. Okay. Oops. Uh. So he missed. Well, he still has a pistol left. Um. Okay, so he was fired on, so he can return fire. Be the cavalry fire table. His formation broken, that's gonna be minus two. He's taking a hit, that'd be minus three. So he's better off wait until he's got uh, to use it in combat. So I think that's what he's going to do. He's going to hold off. Okay. Um, Um, let's see here. I think well, actually. I guess I could have fired these art, this artillery um, once I moved out of the way, you know, because this guy, this unit, this artillery piece can fire right here. Oh, uh, yeah. An example here. You're firing right down beside, so it wouldn't be, uh, so here, 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 here. So yeah, he doesn't have to fire his artillery at the start. It's just, you just perform your actions. Okay. All right, so this artillery unit that opened up, I should have used the fins, uh, the Swedes, should have had theirs, but he's going to fire at this unit here. All right, so he's a uh, 12 to 24 pounder. Uh, and we've got range one, two, three, four. Um, so. 
So, uh, no plus or minus. All right, so here we go. Uh, Roll a zero. Uh, this is gonna be a mess. So he fired. Now, let's see, he's in the way. These guys are in the way. So that's it, okay. So that's all of that and, and uh, until um, we uh, go to close combat. So, All right, now. <clears throat> All right. Okay, so here's where we get into the fact that uh, I can take these down. They're not. They're not going to be. <clears throat> uh, applied here. If this unit here, which badly is in a bad way doesn't attack, then they can be attacked. So, um, they really don't have a chance. Uh, except maybe just ho hopefully be on the defensive. Um, so, It let the so we're like gonna let here we're gonna let the uh, Swedes do the attacking, and of course they want to. Um, so we've got no leader, morale differential. He's got eight. This guy had a seven, but he's got uh, morale shaken, so he's down uh, one. So that's gonna be uh, a plus two. Strength ratio, we're at 10 against 5, that's 2 to 1, that's plus another 1, so now we're at plus 3, uh, they 
which is fired a salvo plus four. So they're going to be at plus four. It's going to be eight. So the defender is going to be broken. Um, he's got to retreat to Two. All right, attacker must advance into the hex. All right. Same thing here. attack here. Um, so they're going to be the attacker. He'll be the defender over here. No leaders. Um, uh, morale, he's got a five, so it's plus three. Um, no, minus three. Um, it's nine to eight. That's even. Okay, we've got heavy infantry versus heavy infantry. Zero. Um, defending cavalry, okay. All right, he is. So right now it's minus three. Ace formation shaken, so it's minus two. is morale shaken. He's already morale shaken. Alright, so he becomes morale broken. He's got to retreat too, but he can't retreat too because of these units. So he's got to take a loss. So he goes to here. He's from formation shaken. takes a loss. And this guy goes to there and he is on my 
transmission broken. attacking here. No leaders. Round differential 8 to 6. That's uh, going to be minus 2. The strength is 10 to 10. Um, close combat is going to be plus 0. Um, attackers formation shaken. So now we're at minus three. Fire salvo, so that's plus one. So now we're at minus two. So it'll be minus two. Okay. Roll to zero. So attacker is eliminated. Shoot it. Let's go on. Okay, so he's going to be flipped over. And of course, he can advance like right there. Okay. All right, right here. Okay, we've got no... Leaders. Um, round differential minus two, eight to six. Strength is the same. Combat matrix is the same. Um, formation shaken. Uh, by the defender, that's going to be plus one. So, let's see. All right, we were at minus two. Minus one because of the salvo. So we're at even seven. Okay, the defender is morale broken. See now, yeah. Now morale broken. Formation broken. So he is formation broken, morale broken. We got to retreat two hexes, but he can't. So he's going to have to take a loss. So he takes a loss. Retreats to there. These guys advance. But their formation shaken. Okay. We go down here. Okay.
Gibi. Alright. Um, let's move this off. Okay. So. We've got. Okay. We've got no leader. Ride differential. It's going to be minus one. Uh, strength differential. He's got six to this is going to be one to two. So that's another minus one. So that's minus two. Close combat. Matrix is the same. Um, blank or rear? No. Attacker is formation shaken. So he's now at minus three. Right. Yeah, minus three. Fire salvo, so minus two now. Didn't have momentum. So minus two. He's formation broken. So that's minus three. Oh, he's going to be eliminated. Gonzaga is gone. See this unit can advance. But that. All right, so, oh, no, we still got, uh, let's see, still got this guy here that can attack here. This guy here can't attack. They got to attack through their front hexes. I believe close combat. Well, maybe not. Oh, yeah. One of the attackers front hexes. Okay. But. <clears throat> here. This guy can attack here. So we've got that going on. Okay. All right, now. Okay, so. So we've got that heavy uh, infantry versus that cavalry. So we've got um, uh, no leaders. 
Okay, we've got morale differential is going to be minus two. Calvary has eight to six, so that's minus two. Strength is going to be ten to two. That's going to be up to four to one. That's going to be plus two. So we're at zero now. Close combat matrix. We got heavy cal infantry against against uh, cursors. So we got a plus one. So so far we got a plus one. <clears throat> Uh, defender's going to use a pistol. <clears throat> so now we're at zero. <clears throat> Attacker doesn't have any issues. Um, and I guess you could say he had momentum. He moved. Yeah, he did move. Um, so he would have momentum. So that's plus. That's, let's see what I say. Um, so it's minus one because of the pistols. Now it's plus one, so that's zero. Um, he's formation broken, so that's minus, no, that's plus two. So we're going to have a plus two. Three becomes five. Defender becomes morale shaken, and he retreats one hex. So, And, oh, can't, can't advance. So he just, had, he's just there. But he has to flip over. All right. And, <clears throat> Now, we could roll for, um, continuation from the, um, uh, Imperial side. They could roll for a continuation, but I'm going to stop it right there. Uh, and let them roll continuation on the next uh, next video. Um, got a lot to digest here. Uh, so, um, yeah, I should have used these artillery pieces. Um, when, as soon as I cleared a, a lane, I didn't do that. Um, but, um, well, no, they don't actually have a fire to this guy. They'd have to turn. Um, <clears throat> they could fire to there. This guy can't fire. This guy's got a fire to this one now. If they could continue, um, that's something to look at for the continuation. So, all right, now we're still going to have um, Lele down here, make ready uh, the reserve. And then we've still got uh, Borneville over here with his left wing cavalry to do, try to do something. And one thing is, um, that was the, uh, let's see, that was the Imperial's turn. So they, 
Leo Polk and actually remove this broken uh, formation. Uh, I don't know if he can. Let's see. Let's see here. Can he remove? I think they just go, they go to. Uh, they would go to. They might, they might get their full uh, thing back. Let's see. Yeah, automatic will reform one unit to its it is stacked with. So this unit here would automatically go uh, back to correct formation. There we go. Um, so that's where we're at, and uh, looks like chaos. Literal, literal chaos, because you can imagine what the uh, actual battles were like um, during this time period, um, with a lot of cavalry running around, uh, your infantry in these large rectangles, with pikemen in the center and musketeers on either side. Um, But just the chaos of the the cavalry uh, fighting against each other, firing their pistols at one another. Um, I think the ones that would have pistols and sabers would be having an advantage. You fire your pistols and then you draw your saber and start hacking. So but this is what it looks like at the moment. And... Uh, as I uh, showed er earlier at the beginning of the video, here's the uh, butcher's bill over here. And uh, as you can tell, there's quite a bit of carnage down here. Uh, the Imperials have lost three large heavy infantry units, uh, lots of cavalry units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I guess. Eight. Uh, and uh, the Swedes have lost three liters. And uh, a lot of musketeers, dragoons, and uh, cavalry units. And some small, uh, well, what are these? Yeah, these are cavalry units. They've lost a lot of cavalry units. Most of them over here on their left wing. So, all right, so we're still in turn two. As you can see, it takes 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 uh, quite a bit of time uh, because you've got so much reaction uh, that can go on. Um, and uh, of course, you've got fire combat, uh, artillery combat, you've got musketry, you've got artillery, you've got the close combat. So you've got a lot of stuff going on. You've got the interceptions which are uh, reaction charges I guess you got the just the regular ch charges or combats uh, by the cavalry units riding up firing their pistols and so forth so lots going on um, it takes time to go through each of the counters and what they're going to do for the wings. So, and then on top of that, you've got continuations. So, um, but that's where we're at. Um, it's still going to be the the Imperial Center's uh, possible continuation. They're going to try to continue or find out what happens in uh, the next video. So, thanks for supporting. Uh, hope you're enjoying the videos. Uh, I don't know what uh, I want to go to next. i got quite a different... Uh, options um try something maybe different maybe atlantic chase or or uh something else uh, that would be that would be quite a change that or maybe a solitaire submarine game uh i don't know i have to think um 
about what I'll do next, but this still got we heck we got uh we got a lot of a lot of video to make on this one. Uh unless we just get uh one side just quickly dominate here. I'll wipe the other one off the map here. Um but uh this is Lee with 82 Gaming. I appreciate it. Check out the sponsors, uh, Okie Dokie Dice and Ultra Pro uh, Deck Protector Sleeves. Check them out in the links that I provide. So, see you in the next video.